Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 9th of 2020, well, it is titled Pleiades, the Seven Sisters Star Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Pleiades star cluster, one of the more prominent uh, clusters in the sky and easily visible to the naked eye. And it's called the Seven Sisters because of the six very bright stars that make it up. So why is it seven sisters if there's only six bright stars? Well, thoughts are that maybe one of the uh, brighter stars had faded over time since the Seven Sisters was named uh, thousands of years ago. Of course, there actually are far more than that uh, stars in this cluster. And you can see that in this image, six relatively bright stars, but dozens of other stars that are also present in this cluster. Now, this is what we call an open cluster of stars, and what that means is that they are slowly spreading out over time. Will we notice that over our lifetime? Certainly not, but they are slowly expanding, and could we come back in millions of years, we would see that the cluster would be slowly dispersing, and then tens of millions of years later, and a hundred million years later, the cluster would hardly be visible. So after a sufficiently long period of time, the stars would disperse out into space. And that's because there simply is not enough mass there to gravitationally bind them together. And this is what differs it from what we call a globular star cluster, which does have sufficient mass and remains bound forever. We can also see all of the dust around the Pleiades here. So some of the dark, dustier areas, some of that dust is illuminated by the Pleiades stars themselves, and you see a bluish color of dust around them. And that is what we call a reflection nebula. It is simply light being reflected from stars off of dust grains and then to us. The other areas, darker areas further away from the star, are darker, dusty areas. So the Pleiades is within a dust cloud right now, and that forms the reflection nebula that we see around it. Now, the Pleiades star cluster is relatively close, only about 400 light years away, uh, in the constellation of Taurus, and it is a prominent, constel a prominent grouping, very easy to see in the night sky. So you can see this with your naked eye as a small grouping of stars, and through binoculars or a small telescope, it is an amazing sight. Now, of course, you will not be able to see all of the detail and the dust around it without a longer exposure, but just to see the small cluster again, through a small telescope, is a wonderful uh, thing to see with all of these stars very close together. So that was our picture of the day for September the 9th of 2020. It was titled Pleiades, the Seven Sisters Star Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.